Happy Saturday, Virgos. Let's get started in your reading today. I hope you're able to resonate with this message. The Hermit. Bottom of the deck, immediate, immediately I'm looking at the Empress. So we have the Hermit and the Empress. Now, I shuffled this deck here, but at the bottom, I see leadership. Leadership position. It is a time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Maybe you're afraid to be the boss. Maybe you're afraid to be the leader that you were always meant to be. Okay. Uh, maybe you just don't want that responsibility. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationship. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, generous, and supportive. Okay, detach, detox your sorry, detox your friendships. But the mess I'm getting for you is maybe you need to detox your current work environment and go somewhere else. Do something different. I'm going to do something totally different, completely different, like a complete 180. You don't always have to do what it is that you're doing because you may understand, you may realize that it's not working. Okay. This is a period of leadership, of movement for you, of heading toward that true success. Okay. <clears throat> it may be something totally different than the work that you're doing now. It's just, like I said, a complete 180. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is you changing your focus. Okay. Changing your action plan. What is it that you wanted to do? Okay, you've done it. Is it working? Has it worked? If not, move on. Okay, if you have a, a boss who is of the opposite sex, all right, and maybe there's just something about the boss that not necessarily that you don't like, but um, maybe you realize, like, I don't want to be that kind of boss or I don't want to be around this person anymore. So as you re, re uh, shaping your thought process, what it is that you want to do, because maybe you're just tired. Maybe this 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 job or whatever's going on here has made you awaken to some things. There's some things that you have seen. There's some things that you have witnessed and saw that you know that you don't like. Okay, I got the ten of swords energy here, and I got awakening. You saw this person for who they truly were. They showed you who they truly were on more than one time, more than one occasion. And you say, well, I'm, wake I'm awakening to this because I don't want this person to throw me under the bus. I, this person is showing me who they truly are. They're showing me that they are definitely not a good person to be around, not to hang around, not to work for, not to work with. All right. So I feel like, you know, whatever they've done, you don't like it. Not one bit. And it's time for you to, to, to fly the coop. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to say, I'm distancing myself from this person because they're just not, they're just not cool people to be around. I can't do this anymore. Got the page of swords here. I feel like there's a light that's finally that's, that's finally shown itself to you when it comes to this person, when it comes to this position, uh, this work environment that you're in. You're just you're just done with it. You don't want to be around it. Okay? You got to move on because you. I'm not saying that you, that you are. You're in Florence Nightingale, but you're not. You're not the. Uh, brightest as you can possibly be everybody makes mistakes you know everybody has some sort of dark energy the things that they've done but that doesn't make you a bad person it doesn't make this person a bad person either but you're starting to really really see what this person's true uh dilemma is what's going on with them they could be very selfish they could be um like promoting themselves in, in a way that you know is not true um they have a lot of flaws you know and you and you're picking up on this and you just just don't want to be a part of that environment whatever this person is doing or has done it's just enough for you i just think that that <laughs> this is like a fight to the finish okay and you may not even be saying anything to one another but it's almost as if they're 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 the person that's, that's doing this, that I'm going to give her a go. I'm going to make sure they do all of this, that they do this, that they're, they're going to handle this responsibility, that responsibility, whatever. Okay. So almost as if not they're making you do it, that's your job, but they're adding more to the job. And you say, okay, I'm sharpening up my MF and sword. I'm getting ready to F this person up. Okay. I'm ready to speak my mind to this person. I'm getting ready to, this person has pissed me off on more than one occasion. I've held it in too long. It's time for me to say something because I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of her. I'm sick of him. Okay, but 
you got to do it in a, in a decisive way in a, in a decisive manner. So that's why I feel you're going to go in a separate direction and you're keeping it to yourself because you're just tired. You don't want to have to use the sword. Okay. The sword of justice, the, the sword of, of your mouth, of what's coming out of your mouth. You don't want to do that. Okay. But you're definitely sharpening up your tool. Somebody here may need to, to start um, re getting their license plate renewed or something like that. Hmm. Somebody may even steal your license plate. So watch out. What else does Virgo need to be doing here? Yeah, I feel like, you know, on this job, whatever, you're holding the brunt of the responsibility. It's like this person is shining, doing with what it is they're doing, yes. But you're the one that's actually doing all the work. You're the one that, that's that's holding that business up. Okay. But yet and still they want to take they want to take pride in what it is that's happening, but you are the one that's actually doing it. And they're trying to almost if they're trying to keep their foot down, or maybe they don't even realize that they're that they're putting their foot on your neck, that they're holding you down, that, that you're struggling on this job much, much more than you've ever had before. So it's like I can't keep on holding this place down all by myself, though other people are here, other people clock in, other people clock out. I seem to be having the brunt of all the responsibilities here, and I'm sick of it. Okay. I'm just tired. I can't keep on I can't I can't keep on doing it. So you may be offered another job somewhere else. All right. Maybe you've been looking here and there, but not hard because you've back and forth in your head. I don't know if I should be here or I go somewhere else. I don't know what God wants me to do, you know, but this this is enough. You said I can't do this. You know, you're putting yourself out there, you're putting your feelers out there, okay? Because you just don't want to be a part of this anymore. You're just tired. The, something this person did or something that you have experience with this person in this person's energy field that said enough is enough. I can't. No. I got victory here. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So every time I see this card, I think about that Imperial, that Imperial commercial from back in the day. Da, 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 da. Remember that back in the day, if you're old enough to remember. But yeah, victory here. Victory, finding victory in this, finding victory in a leadership position. Because you got, you know, you've got to know that you have outgrown this spot. You have outgrown this workplace. Okay. And you can't do it anymore. You've done all that you can possibly do. You know, maybe there's something drastic that has changed and you stayed in that position and, and you've tried to make it work, but it's just the leadership position now is in your court but whoever is leading you leading whoever is is leading this position the workplace that you're in now it's not that they're a bad person you just don't want to work for them okay and that's that's the that's just the gravy of it you just done you can't do this anymore i gotta rid myself of this this disability all right this, this disability means the job okay that's right now hmm. I mean, dismantling the workplace. They're 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 really uh, dismantling the comfortability of the workplace. Ask for your needs to be met. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with with clearly asking other people to assist you. You know, I feel like this person really really um relies a lot on you to help get the job done because they know that you're going to do a good job okay but i really like, i really feel like this job is really kind of like shutting you down you know it's not allowing any more room for growth maybe you have gotten a raise in the, in the distant past maybe you have not you know um maybe you need to and maybe that will help solidify your decision to either stay or go that you're overworked you're overdoing it and for what what, what what are you actually getting out of it? But body aches, body pain, headaches, and a bunch of BS. Okay. See? It's time to move on. We got the towel. You you reached your limits. The only thing that's keeping you there is you. You can leave anytime you damn well please. But that's you holding yourself back there. That's you saying, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. But I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. I can't make up my mind. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. We, you're at this point now, I feel. The death card, the tower. I'm done. There's gonna be something that's gonna break off, okay? If it already has not, that's gonna finally give you that that urge to move on because you're tired. You can't do this anymore. How much longer are you gonna stay here in this place? It's gonna become toxic. It's gonna to be you're gonna be overworked. You're gonna be overdoing it for what? Little or nothing. 
no recognition, no nothing. And if they do give you recognition, it's just to keep you there because they got it in their, their, their senses that you want to leave, that you're planning to leave. So you may get a little pump, pump and circumstance from this person, but that's only to keep you there. Not because they really appreciate you, though they may say it. It's just because they know they can't do it. With, they can't do it without you. But you're done. Mm -mm. It's like turn me over. I'm mf and done. Not anymore. I'm done. It's just a lot of. Um, they're taking you through the ringer. A lot of rigmarole going on around you. But you're ready to sharpen that tool, and you're ready to say, "I'm done. I'm cutting y'all all short." All right. Because you've seen this person dismiss so many people. And I feel like you've just been doing too much. Okay, this represents your work. That's the sin of swords represents the work that you do. You down, you're doing this th this job, you're doing that assignment, you're doing all of this stuff, but yet and still they got even more for you to do. And they see you all bogged down. They see you doing the best they can and they still coming at you with more. How much more can you do you think you can handle? How much more do you think you can do? Now if you can if you can stand this, if you can stand this heat, go ahead and stay in the kitchen. But if you can't, go on, on about your business. Because all the stuff that you're doing, everything that bogs you down, they see that you're down. They see that you're doing your best and they still going to come with some more shit to do. Because no, they don't have any source in them. They don't have any high priority issues going on with them when it comes to work. They want to live their life. They want to go out and travel and do the things and leave you with the responsibility of the business to do what you need to do. And they steady putting more and more stuff on you. Enough is enough. That's enough. I got enough work. How much more are you going to pound on me? How much more do you, are you going to say it's first priority? Every time you bring me a different duty, you say it's first priority. But what about the last priority you told me was due? What about the last priority before that? The last one before that? Which one do you want me to do first? Which one is more important? All of them can't be important at the same damn time. What do you want? I'm going through all this and now you all of a sudden got another priority for me? What the F? You may be getting paid, but you're also being used. You heard that? You may be getting paid, Virgo, but you're also being used. 